Welcome to my TED Talk, video walkthrough of the hydraulic clamp assembly. Lord, I hope this one goes better than the other clamp I attempted. Um, so from the tutorial, I clicked this link, exercise basic assembly, and that gets me the um, document that I'm going to make a copy of. should have paused while it was loading because it's slow and then they actually gave me this nice button I can make a copy right here normally you have to go to the three lines for the document menu but make a copy and I'm gonna name it my name if I could type oh my gosh I really can't type sorry this video is gonna be terrible all right so my recording thing is blocking my bottom tabs. Nice. Okay. Uh, step two. In copied document, select add element with the plus sign and choose create an assembly. I can't do that right now. So I guess I'm going to have to patch a couple different videos together. Yep. All right. So I, um, completed step two I went over here and I had my I was in like the components tab with the part studio and I was able to access the plus sign and make my assembly and now I believe they want me to rename it hydraulic clamp assembly and then step four I'm going to insert all the hydraulic components uh, i can do it at once right am i going to insert them all at once select the hydraulic components to accept cool so going over to my tab where i made my assembly it's just blank insert these bad boys all of them except five right click on the cylinder and select fix right click fix nailed it it's going swimmingly um create a second instance of the o-ring i'm gonna right click it in the menu here select copy right click I guess in the assembly space and hit paste or I could do control C control V but okay right click copy right click paste o-ring bada bang bada boom why are why are they suddenly showing them in all different places it's annoying um probably because I'll have to move them over in order to put all these connectors on correctly. So I'm going to do a fasten mate between the top center of this hole and the top center here. So yeah, I'm going to need to move that guy over. And I'm going to add a fasten mate. And I had a hard time getting the hole when I was attempting another thing. So what I'm going to do is um, when I'm hovering over it in such a way that that, that little white crosshairs is visible, I'm going to hold shift. Then he stays there and I should be able to click him. And I believe now I have the kind of center point of the hole on the top face like along this plane selected fingers crossed and there's the center point there selected nothing else nothing special just select those two and accept good okay then step seven Select mate connectors between the o-ring and I'm going to have to find 
this and it's a fasten cylinder connecting point should be the center of the filleted face okay and they made a note that they were hiding some parts to make it easier move try to move the o-ring out of the way I'm going to, okay, so I'm working on Fasten 2. And when I get yellow double lines around the top and bottom of this kind of like carved out ring, I'm going to hold Shift, move over, try to grab that very middle point, not the top, not the bottom, but the middle. And then I'm going to try to grab uh, you, hold shift, your middle. That looks like he's seated in the right spot. I will accept. I assume the next step is to do the same thing with the other o-ring. Okay, so Fasten 3 is, hold on Shift so my menu stays and I'm at the middle one. And then this guy, hold on Shift so he doesn't go away. Got him, got him, nice, okay. So they're fastened. 10. All right, so now I'm going to do a cylindrical mate um, between, okay, so on this like exterior part, that's pretty easy to figure out. It's just the very center of the, the bottom of the, the hole. Ooh, the doorbell. Um, and mate connection point on the cylinder is the bottom inside. The mate connection on the plunder is the yeah. bottom face. So I'm going to like turn it upside down just because that's the easiest thing for me to do. So I'm going to move him over here. Let's do a cylindrical mate. No, 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 no. Hey, I can't see you if you're over there. Bottom middle. Hello, friend. It's a little hard to tell. Where's the bottom middle? Oof, that's going to be tricky. You make it translucent. Oh, that's not any better. Okay. I think that's the bottom. I'm going to hold shift and try to get this at the center. Except. I think I got it. Um, and then all right, I'm gonna go back and edit um cylinder one to give it these limits minus forty and zero. Limits. Minus 40, zero, hit play. It plunges, nice. And after I accept, I assume that this guy will move with him. Um, he move. Look, he dispensed soap or whatever for you. Boop. Um, doesn't look like that. Okay, number 11. At this point, they're going to give us some info. And we check our mass properties. And
And then we go do our self check. All right, good luck everybody. That wasn't so bad. The clamp was actually harder. 